I woke up this morning to CNN's headline, Trump fell on stage and was injured as Secret Service people picked him up. We all know what happened, but CNN is trying to spin this as, oh, you cannot make this up. But my point is, and I don't want to get into all this, it's a terrible thing, but I just want to remind you that if you want to see the big picture, you can't allow yourself to be sucked into the picture. You can't be objective if you're uh, choosing sides, basically. And uh, you have to remain somewhat removed to see the whole picture. So many things have changed, such as the name of the person who did this. Uh, CNN. I watched. I was watching on TV, uh, ABC. One of the commentators said that it appeared as though Trump fell and his ear was injured when he got back up, probably from the Secret Service. Can you believe it? No mention. They weren't calling it gunshots. They were calling it popping noises. It's I hilarious. Explain the person that died from a head wound. Yeah, yeah. Shot yeah, popping noises. No mention of the, the person that died in the crowd from one of the bullets that missed him. I'm not going to get into this. I do have a butler story, though, which is where this happened. Remember that, hon? I know, but I'm looking. At that. That's really weird that you brought that up because I just went and I looked, and it can't be the same place. This has to be a different. There's only I'm one looking, Butler, Pennsylvania. I know that it's so far off of 80, and where we went was just Butler Hill was the hill that we had to climb. Yeah, okay. that's our Butler story. But this ain't the same Butler. Um, well, maybe there's two Butler PAs. Who knows? Well, it's a Butler Hill. It's the hill that you're fixing to. Butler about. Hill. We were in our earliest days of team driving, and we were in a really old beat up cab over, and we're running really, really heavy legal, but right up against the max, 80,000. And uh, we had to climb this hill, Butler Hill in Butler, Pennsylvania. And uh, I mean, it was. I don't even know what percentage of grade it is. You know, four, five, six, that's simple. You can do that. This is an extreme grade. And halfway up the hill, we come up on a bus, a school bus, that stops to pick up kids. And uh, behind us, at the bottom of the hill, is the Allegheny River. And uh, so uh, the clutch is smoking, and the truck is hopping up and down, me trying to let the clutch out. And the truck fills up with smoke from the clutch. Charlie opens the door and she's fixing a jump out, which I don't blame her. I would do, but you know, I'm the pilot. I got to make sure this thing at least makes it back to the river. Oh God, that was scary. I'm telling you, I am not riding this thing back. Yeah, there's no sense in both of us going down the hill. Boy, what a day. I wasn't riding it. Uh, It wasn't, I mean, it, it was a steep, scary hill. Which you could do as long as you were moving, but to come to a complete stop uphill behind a bus and then try to get going again with that much weight. We got going, we got there, but that's something uh, 30 something years ago, we still remember that, probably nearly 40 years ago now. Okay, that's all I'm going to say about that. I'm fixing to get up and go finish up that last bit of fence I got, probably two or three hours. I'll have as much fence as I can get up done because uh, we got to clear some more brush out before we can go all the way down to the other end of the property. And who knows, that might be a while. I got to work on this lawnmower. I'm not looking forward to it. I just don't feel like working on lawnmowers. All right, let's get the day started. Okay, this is all I got in me today. I got one, two, three, four, five, six T-posts to hammer in. Put this fence up against it. Pull it tight, staple it, attach it to the poles, and uh, that's all the fencing I got in me for a while. I've got to let my my back have a, a break from the back breaking work. Alrighty, let's get after it. Whew, okay, this is going to be a little hard to do because I'm going over a hump, and uh, the hump is 
just this side of the the gate post. So I can't get this really, really tight. I'm gonna let it sit here and stretch out a minute. And uh, I'm just gonna have to accept the fact that it will never be a uh, guitar string tight on that end. All right, break time and then I'm gonna get after attaching it. Woo, good Lord. I'm exhausted. How about you? So, uh, it's nine. I got out here about seven. And guess what? I am as done as I can get. Uh, I am gonna sink another post four feet out, but probably not today. Today's Sunday. I'm uh, probably gonna chill for the rest of the day on the front porch with a fan blowing on me. Now keep in mind, I had to go over a hill, so there's gonna be slack, and I'm gonna show you where the slack is. And I'm probably just gonna come and uh, hammer another T-post in and attach the fence to it, but there it is right there. It's tight at the top and loose at the bottom. I don't know if this hill translates. It's a hill right here. And somebody asked me what we're going to do about the bottom of the gate. Now, I had to raise the gate up to open because, the you know, it's a hill. I mean, you can tell it's a big hill. It goes right down to the creek. So, uh, you know, I, I had to accommodate the hill. So that's why there's a gap on this side. The gate is level. There's a hill there. And yes, we are gonna do something. Uh, the dirt there, right there, that I didn't pick up, my wife is gonna throw on this side. And the dirt behind me where I dug out, there's actually more dirt down there. We got plenty of dirt we're gonna throw here. And then uh, I gotta come back and put some of this fencing on that gate. So, now, I'm going to get that trailer unhooked from that lawnmower, pull the trailer up out of the way, turn this lawnmower around and tow it to my garage. I think i got a safety switch issue. I'm not certain. It's just a guess. But uh, it, it's, that's what it seems like, and I'm, I can't diagnose it till I get it in my shop and get testers out and stuff like that. So, that's the end of my day. Have a good Monday, y'all. Today, uh, Monday, you'll see this Monday. This is Sunday. I've got to uh, work on that on Monday. <clears throat> I got a tire coming, so I got to take the tire off my motorcycle. Tuesday, I got a doctor's appointment, so I'm going to bring my tire with me, go to the doctor, and then bring my tire to the Harley dealer and get him to put the new tire on the rim. Jeez, all right. Have a good Monday, y'all. This is a huge project, and the hardest part is done. Thank God. Hi, I don't have that on my phone. You don't have the zoom Zoomulate? Oh. That's because you've got an antique iPhone. My God, the thing must have been from the old ages, like 2015 or so. <laughs> yeah, but mine will fit in my pocket. It's yeah. not like having a laptop. Yep, mine's the size of a laptop. Putting around an iPad. So this is the rest of my day here. What are you going to do? Huh? I'm not doing anything. Nothing? You're nothing. Take, taking the rest of the day out too? Absolutely nothing. Lucy? Well, but never I mind. All... You got any plans for the day? Giving the Lord. You're a good girl. Yeah. You're such a good girl. Why don't you come lay down here on your bed? Come here. Come on. Oh, you can't come up here right now, baby. Oh, she was going to look crazy like she used to do, Sonny. Yeah. She would always give Sonny a kiss, honey. Yeah. Come on, my old gal. I know. Life has gotten really hard for the both of us. It's better. Oh, my goodness. Okay. That's it. I'm going to go to Spring Market, get some lettuce, some other lettuce. And that's, that's it. That's the end of the day. I'm not sweating. I'm glistening. I glisten.